What's going on, everybody? We are back for part two of our Oni playthrough. Um, if you don't remember, at the end of our last mission, we were uh, we found a data pad uh, in an old what is that a, a facility, an old storage facility. The data pad pointed us to a manufacturing facility uh, where there's apparently some shady syndicate business going on. Kanoko's here to stop it, the Foot Fist way. And yeah, this is just going to be cool. This is an, another introductory level. There's tons of hypos, tons of weapons for for Kanoko to play with. Um, it, I remember as a kid feeling like this place was like um, labyrinthine. I thought it was like super hard to get around and like remember. And now as an adult, playing with all of my gamer skill and knowledge, my big brain, um, it's just way easier than I ever remember it being. So that's kind of cool. Um, Musashi Heavy Manufacturing Concern feels like a very American Japanese name, if that makes any sense. Konoko's got a new outfit on. She's not in her, um, like, streetwear. She's not in her, like, ass-kicking outfit. This feels more like a almost street cop kind of thing, which I think is cool. Um, yeah, now we've got some bad guys. Um, this is Barabbas and Moreau. They are the heads of the syndicate, and we are going to take them out, uh, eventually, eventually. Um, but yeah, this is this is going to be fun. Um, like I said, easier level. I think we'll probably just show off this, and we only have one back break, so we're looking for back breaks. Um, yeah, that's it. We're looking for back breaks. I we're going to get at least one. We got to get at least one this level. Um, and yeah, this is Moreau, like, it feels like Jin from Tekken 5. Like, if the oh, the old dude from TCTF is Hihachi, is Hihachi coated with that, the wings of hair, um, Moreau is definitely Jin. Like, definitely Jin. I try to keep these guys alive, so, but gaming is so bad with the PS2. Uh, yeah, okay, he got rid of the gun. Oh, this dude already got popped. I know I should always help him first because the dude has a uh, much more powerful gun, but I frankly I forgot this time. Um, that's so sad. All right, we have one. We have one dude. Oh no! Wait. Oh, both of them are gone. I thought he had taken him out. Okay, that's my bad. I feel really bad about that. So we're not off to the greatest of starts. We're gonna look through the wall here. You'll find there is a bad dude. I think he's right there. He's kind of walking around. Now, I think there's a chance we can back break him. A back break would make up for the fact that we let down our two uh, enforcer friends. It is kind of fun having them follow you around. Like, I'm not going to lie. Oh. Take a seat, bro. This is not, not going to end well for you. So, uh, we've got some new stuff here specifically we have a new ability so let's take a look this is the triple hit haymaker so now bap, 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 just a quick um three punches that are really frankly it's a it's it's a good move um it's great combo filler it's great to just use um and bop now i don't feel too bad about using like any ammo here like i said there's a ton of it and as much as I like fighting, it's also kind of fun to unload on dudes. What you'll also remember is I, I mentioned in the previous video, there's tons of consoles. We're going to be unlocking doors all day. All day we're going to be unlocking doors. Um, that's just how this game was built. This is an early um, PlayStation 2. This is released in 2002 on the PlayStation 2. And it's just like how these games kind of worked back then. Uh, there's another guy, <laughs> excuse me, in here that there is ample opportunity like i feel like you can backbreak him as well he's like over here in the corner but it's so hard getting a true backbreak on these guys <sighs> like why also that was so this game is so weird with its um not geometry that's <coughs> excuse me no that is geometry no geometry that's what i mean 
Okay, so we've already, like, as you can see, we've already got three hypos. We haven't taken a single hit yet. Our guns are great. We could backbreak this chick. She's clearly evil. Got our friends killed, but we're not like that. So these consoles are meant to be read. I'll read them to you, or at the very least. <coughs> There's a here. We've got, we're have got we learning about the Deadly Brain. Now, the Deadly Brain is uh, an attempt to replace the control systems of a Type 3 battle drone with a grafted biological brain. As you can imagine, uh, maybe this isn't super great. Um, when you put a human brain inside what is essentially... Uh, oh, oh, can we tackle him? Yes! I love that. I had never actually seen that before. Um, and I just thought it was really cool. So we actually... Oh, yeah. This is... So that's like the gear... Oh, two... Unreal, bro. Three, <laughs> excuse me, three, <laughs> right off the bat. That's awesome. So, that, I'm blown away by this. Uh, we've gotten multiple backbreaks, like, immediately. We're up to four hypos at this point, as well as a pretty solid gun in the, uh... Is it the SMG? I don't even know what it's really called. Uh, only two bullets. All right, we'll put it down, and we'll we'll keep our little we'll keep our little pistol for now. Um, like I said, labyrinthine. So this is just another room, um, and then we've got a couple more rooms to navigate through. This is kind of like a big U, um, and then you sort of go up a level and you do the same thing. Now, also the checkpoints are very generous in this particular level. Now we could have potentially taken him out. I think he does sit here and sort of does his thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Now this is the sad part. So when you unleash this guy here um, on, in the upper level, it's pretty, uh, like, it kind of goes without saying that your two TCTF, TCTF buddies will be there. The tick throw. Um, to die, which is really sad. Another hypo. We're just going to get ourselves up, and then if there's a good ch chance to pop um, and get ourselves some like extra dead and strength, yeah, that's always kind of annoying. Freaking ninja trying to like take out innocent by bystanders. So eventually, you will learn. Uh, Kanoko does learn those kinds of moves, which is cool. Like that, definitely. Like I was all about that. Um, when I was playing this game as a kid. I was just trying to learn their special moves. We've got a console. Console, no biggie. We're opening the far side door. Incoming compass data. <coughs> Excuse me. Show me what you and this is basically where we started. Um, oh, what in the... Who do you think you are, brother? Coming out of nowhere... So, again, they're doing more deadly brain research. TCTF, half of the losses we sustained were from rogue plasma batteries. So basically, the deadly brain cannot be trusted. It shoots its own dudes. Um, yeah, the screaming cannons, which are, like, crazy uh, in this game. They, most of this game is, like, it's very chill until, oh, is he down there? Okay. Sometimes he's in, on the walkway. Nope. Now, I do like this weapon for now. We're gonna we're gonna just play with it. I like the plasma cannon. Excuse me. <clears throat> it is a good weapon. Um, yeah, we're just gonna roll with it. What was I gonna say? What was I gonna say? I was saying something about something. Deadly Brains, maybe? Oh, the Screaming Cannon. So this game is very, like, um, very, ch like, I feel like it's grounded in reality up until a certain point. We're going to just pick up an energy cell there, which is always nice. Always good to have as much ammunition as possible. And then we're going to try to leash a whole bunch of dudes. Uh, that's another important thing about this game. If you're, like, playing this game on any kind of hard mode or hard level, it's good to just leash folks. Um, most of the time, other enemies won't really do anything about it 
And in a lot of cases, you can do stuff like that. Um, this dude will pro oh, that guy actually comes through another door. Luckily, he's not so bad. So, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the opponent attempted to, he actually like punched through, um, he like interrupted my string. So I was doing like what? I was doing like kicks and he jabbed through it. That's a common thing that happens. Um, and you need to be aware that your opponent will probably, excuse me, if you're using sort of like, he'll probably try to jab through that and he can do it. Like most enemies can jab through that and they'll recognize sort of that that string is coming. Um, and so you have to not so much vary your attacks, but make sure that they're very tight, which is why triple hit, like triple hit haymaker is, is, is a good move because it does sort of fill that gap where if you're looking for those big knockdowns like that does more damage but triple haymaker is a little more um reliable you were right. so griffin aka Hihachi, syndicate forces are attacking another building of course classic we're going to take them out eventually but we have some we got some work to do and here we've got another checkpoint. Like I said, pretty generous. For you, so one of these dudes has a gun. I think it's maybe this guy. Oh. Okay. We should have let him uh, refill his weapon. That's what I like to do. That's what I... I <coughs> excuse me. That's what I prefer to do. Oh, did he re get a full reload? He did get a full reload. I love I love doing that. So in this game, typically, the enemies have like one or two clips to play with, um, and you know, so you actually don't need to worry about this. Like this thing will try to shoot you. It's not really that big a deal, um, because it will miss if you dip, duck, dive, and dodge a little. So we will leash this dude. The other guy has uh, a gun. Now, oddly, sometimes they will get locked on this ladder. They'll get very confused, and then they'll end up underneath, just sort of like hiding. It's very strange. Um, I'm going to wait until SMG Boy sort of goes away. Okay, yeah, see, they're doing it. I don't understand why. Yeah, I don't understand why that happens. But... Like lambs to the slaughter they are. I say that as I unload a couple of clips on him. So, yeah. We're learning more about the deadly brain if we want. Weaknesses. So this is a really cool one. The greatest weakness of the deadly brain prototype stems from their control interface. Brains harvested from trained combat personnel come from a lifetime of interfacing with human physiology. Basically, they're saying that the, the brain can't adapt to its new physical state. Um, and they try... <laughs> excuse me. They, <clears throat> they try to do things to um, kind of make it feel better about its new body, a.k.a. Um, but it never really... Uh, adapts and so the the deadly brains have never been a, like a foolproof plan or, or or worked very well in this universe. <clears throat> and they're really it's a really cool idea. Um, yeah, I really like it. So, oh, I'm actually very surprised that we actually slid through that and didn't get the uh, the things changed. So, again, this is sort of what I mean by labyrinthine, where so we kind of have to like go back and forth and back and forth to these different rooms that we've traveled to before. Um, yeah, so as a kid, unless you sort of remembered where all those colored doors were, you could be running back and forth forever. Um, so yeah, here's the Deadly Brain. It's just got a bunch of cannons, and it's sort of sitting here, and it's a really weird boss setup. It's very, very, this, this iteration of the Deadly Brain is very easy to take out. Um, 
but yeah, it's still like I remember this being very tedious as a kid. Uh, excuse, using, using our slides to get out of the way. This this uh, this guy will try to he, try to get us. It doesn't really matter. He can't hit us. That's just how. <laughs> excuse me. The the plasma cannon is super slow. Um. Oh, hey, hey. this guy actually has a hypo for us. Hypo. <coughs> excuse me. And we're opening another door. We're actually nearly done with this mission. It's very, very fast compared to a lot of other later missions where, you know, enemies are much more difficult and, and, and all that jazz. We should have another enemy sort of creep over here trying to stop us. Yeah. Mr. Plasma Chucker over there. Which, frankly, is super funny. So it doesn't take much to, I guess, I mean, I guess we can keep it. It doesn't, I don't think there are too many enemies left in this level. Oh, I can't do this because I have, okay, this is sick just because we've got our purple, purple power here. This is when we sort of, uh, oh, so you, you get way stronger. You're, you sort of have overheal. And, yeah, it's friggin' sick. You do way more damage. Oh, that was almost a back break, guys. That was almost a back break. So we have our final door. We are nearly done with this mission. Very, very fast. We're gonna pop a hypo. We are going to sprint. I love this glow. Does this guy have one? No, we're wasting time. And then we've got this dude. Hiya! All right. So you'll see here. Deadly Brain is sort of, it's activated. I really liked all of the the stuff sort of floating around. Super cool. We'll get our Deity and Glow on. Run while you still can. Why did you build it? Very Kanoko. For science, of course. So we get an extra hypo. Uh, a double extra hypo. Because we can't take it with us, um, you can't overheal into extra hypo. So I'm just going to wait, and then we're going to go full Deiden. I don't know if your strength decreases the less or if like you hit a you're at your strongest if full and then at your weakest or at close, closest to baseline but yeah this is I think we look awesome I, I really I've I always really liked doing this as a kid despite never being very good at triggering it <coughs> excuse me so this is the best this is the best part. If you guys get a chance to read this, I would pause it on the brain's speech patterns. Um, the dolt is shallow painted hibiturias, but like it's so like the, the language it uses is so cool and it's so prescient what this brain actually ends up doing in the game. Um, it's very much like internet troll stuff. Um, and it's just this. We literally just be run between these consoles and try not to get hit by any of the lasers. Um, later, it gets much more difficult, and that like that's it. You're also given a free one, so uh, once it resets, it sort of you know, re rejiggers its its stuff. You can actually just. Um, you start at this one, it's right here. It's unleashing a torrent of individual images of itself. Stop, Stop it. it. That's what I love, dude. Who can resist my subtle charm, my rakish lobes? No one! So here we go. We've got our next one. Now I think you can just like run, like normal run. You don't have to sprint. You can also jump over these. Because they're so low. Um, so like, you know, if you're not going fast enough, I'm too, I'm, I'm too scared. I still have PTSD from this as a kid. 
The brain tells me it'll irradiate everything within a 50 block radius unless we meet the following demands. It wants feet. It's so good. The writing, I always thought the writing of this game was really good. I, I always liked the story. I also thought the the um, the VO was really good. Maybe Shinatana is a little a little ho hum, right? But I I don't know. So again, I I remember as a kid missing this first one because you didn't really think about it. Now you got to sprint. Ooh, we messed up. Luckily, we have 10 billion. This this could potentially be like. This could mean the end of the game for us. But we have 10 billion hypos. <clears throat> More than enough to disable Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Deadly Brain here. So that's mission two. The next mission, we're going to be heading out into um, a huge building uh, that's under attack by Barabbas and Syndicate forces and sort of ascending this tower and then ascending back down and like beating the shit out of everybody. It's, it's, a, it's a really fun mission. Um, really tough. Like, it's a long mission, too. Uh, we're going to be rescuing scientists, a whole bunch of stuff. But these guys, prolonged stress. She insisted. There's something going on. Um, what's going on inside Kanoko? What's the science? There's something going on in there. Um, and yeah. So that was... That was... Our third playthrough here. Excuse me. Our second, our second uh, thing we got. What was that? Three back breaks. So we're up to. <coughs> excuse me. So we're up to four. That's all we want. Four back breaks. So I will see you guys next time uh, for more Oni action. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, yeah, become a member if you can. Support the channel monetarily. I would be forever grateful. Um, we'll talk soon. Later, gang.